So guys, welcome to my new video and welcome to my channel. Okay, first of all, in this video I would like to thank Alcox because he made a gameplay review of my game called Amazeball 3D Fly and Dodge. Okay, so I really thank you and appreciate your game review. I will leave a link in the below for the game review to his uh, YouTube channel so you can like check it out. Uh, also, in this video, I would like to go over like uh, like you know some stuff that I'm working on on Buildbox 3D. Okay, so I can like share with you like some things I discovered, some things I can share. So hope I can help you using no code game development. And please, uh, I would appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I really really would appreciate that. And let's hop in and let's see what I'm up to in these days. Hello again, so let's start the lesson. So this is my, uh, like, a game that I've been working recently. So this is actually a basic, like, a runner game. You know, you just jump. Okay, so you don't, you try to avoid the yellow. If you touch, you, you know, <laughs> it was a nice animation, the cube coming to the, to our face. So you just go, basically, there's a progress bar at the top. And I found out like this progress bar at the top is always like a problematic and I had a problem. So, okay, so this is about it. So if I click and start again, so this is like a new level. And next, um, different, oh my God, how different can a runner can be from each other? I wonder, you know. Anyway, so this is another, so you go up, you, you boom, 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 and finish. So, you know, this is how it works, okay. So how does this progress works? What I have here is, these big blocks all right so these are all here and their collision is actually set up like this so in case if i try to you know in the future when i make levels i can make them more going up or down so i made those collisions bigger so what happens is each time the player touches it they are destroyed and they send an event to that progress bar at top so it starts to fill in so when it comes to the end in here, the game level finished and the progress bar is fulfilled, player is fulfilled, 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 whatever, with happiness, with enjoy, with playing the game, and they, you know, made a progress in the level, they jump to the next level, whatever it is, okay. So uh, the way I did it is I had these progress objects here, these are basic squares, nothing else. Only I deleted the 3D model inside. So if I show you what's going on here, I just let me add a 3D model. So they are in here. So if I click play, so they are destroyed. And every time player touches them, you see, you know, this is about it, guys. So this is going like this. So I'm going to hide these again. I'm going to delete this. Don't worry, if you delete this, the, the models are still there. The collisions are still working. So I think I have a total of 40, 20, whatever, you know. But the thing is, this thing also, you know, I use this with the inside Unity as well, you know, like I did. I mean, I, I could like measure the distance in Unity. Also, you can like touch certain objects and make the progress until you go to the end of level, okay? So this is the way I think I find really, really the easiest without the thing you can do only with notes, without coding fill out the progress bar. So what's going on here? It collides the character, which is our player here, all right? And at the end, it's, it is, it's, get, it's got removed, and then it sends a progress. You can name this whatever you want, but you will use the same name you use in the game. So then you go to your UI, and you have a default image in here, which is what is this get out? Which is like um, scaled as zero, and now I so it gets scaled to one from zero to one until it goes to the end of level. And how it is done is you go to bar. This is my object. So you create actually. You go to asset library. You go to like default. And then in the default, you create that code and you actually delete this. And what you do is you import, uh, let me find that image for you. 
uh, build bugs. This is all my messed up computer, guys. Sorry about that. And where is this test game? This was my this is one of my first games called Amazeball 3D, which I mentioned. So this is in that artwork, and this is what we want. It's a bar. So if you check it out, it's a bar image. Then we will go like this. It's a bar image actually with the uh, with left and right. Left side is empty, right side is filled with red. Okay. So what we do is we actually scale the image from starting from the from the middle to the like opening like this. But you only see the red part going like this in the game. Okay. So that's the trick. Uh, so the image is actually like this. <laughs> okay. I'm showing you like a few times for you to understand. So it's uh, right in here. I already made one. So I actually started this project with default and then I changed the name in here, bar. And I really don't understand why these are like different, but it's working. So if I go in here, it receives the progress bar. Okay. When it reads the progress, it scales that image 0 0.035, 0 0.05. This is the duration. This is like what I found works best with this game, with that length, with that distance with that amount of blocks that I added in. So this can all change depending on your game. You have to find your own uh, way, your own numbers or your own math in here. So in out cube I found works the best instead of linear uh, with this kind of workout, with this kind of progress. So uh, this default, I mean, let me show you just to bring this back again so you can understand. So if I put it right here, if I make this zero, it's now scaled like this from both sides actually. So when I click the game, you see now this bar that I just dropped there is filling in. Okay. So all you gotta do is actually let me delete that. Is set that I mean make it like a gray background or whatever you can do something else. You can make it white. It's up to you. You don't have to make this uh, square. This is my font. So it's like adding the level number after each one. Okay. Uh, so, you know, this is it guys. Hope you find this like useful. I think I found this is one of the best ways to make a no code progression bar. So, you know, you can make like an endless levels using the um, progress bar thing that Buildbox has. I really don't get it when I open in my computer that progression uh, template. I don't see the bar at top. I think it has to do either with my, I don't know, with my computer or with the template. But still, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Uh, so please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to bring you must, much more excitement in the future in the game dev business. Okay, take care. Bye.